It is Afghan New Year, which is called Now Rose, and we're bringing Jordan and Justin to their very first Afghan Now Rose festival. And Jordan and Justin have been around us our whole lives. They know a lot about the culture, but today they're gonna experience music, food, all kinds of things, and most importantly, the people. Before we go into this huge grand festival, I have a little something for you, Jordan. My grandpa has a very traditional hat. Oh, Baba John. Baba John, yes. Wow. Baba John. I get to wear Baba John's hat? You get to wear Baba John's traditional caracol. Wow! This is called the caracoli hat. This was worn by my grandpa in the 1970s in Afghanistan. Well, I feel very blessed today. You let me wear this hat, and I'm excited to get the full Afghan experience. Two major staples in Afghan culture. We have the potato bolani and the chives bolani, which is the kachalu bolani and the bolani gandana. Okay, what that is, it's a flatbread filled with potatoes and spices, and also another flatbread filled with chives and spices. Wow. Wow. I'm actually wow. very excited to eat this. Both of them look incredible. Yeah. They kind of look like quesadillas. They are kind of quesadillas, but there's no cheese in it. I was looking at the kola making it, and she had a bunch of oil, a bunch of goodness on top. It was getting deep fried, crispy, oh. and looks delicious. And I'm really excited to try this out. Usually it is dripping with oil and that's the way you want to eat it. So what is this sauce? So that's the chutney, which has okay. vinegar in it, green spices, cilantro, and okay. some jalapenos. This is really crispy. Yeah. If it's not crispy, wow, wow, Afghans wow. don't like it. Okay. That crunch, you hear that crunch? That's crispy. Wow. This is like a vegetable quesadilla, but on steroids. Yes, this is exactly is what it good. is. I thought this was gonna be like the same texture as a tortilla, but this is like a croissant mixed with a tortilla. Yeah. You wow. get that doughiness, you get the crispiness, and it's soft at the same time. Yeah. Well, you leave. have that freshness from the gandana. I feel like this might be a little too heavy because it is potato, but the leeks keep it nice and fresh, and I haven't even tried it with the chutney. Yet. Yeah. Ali, you've been holding out on us this whole time. Well, I was waiting for this moment for you guys to try it. This is delicious. This is 10 out of 10. So is this like more of a snack, an appetizer? or is this like the full meal? So this is definitely the starter. Okay. So like when you have the spread of food out there, right. you have the potato bolani, you have the chives bolani to wow. start, and then you get into your kebabs, your the mantus, kebabs. and your ashaks of the world. The kebabs are classic. You yeah. can't go wrong the beef. No. You got the chicken kebabs. Those are just classic straight up protein. Uh -huh. yeah. But this right here is the more traditional food. Delicious. So where can we find stuff like this? Do people have shops or what would we look well, for? Well, if you want to find this, you just call me and I'll make it for you, okay? Oh, wow. Me. You know? You know what? Just because I love you guys so much, I will call either my mom or my aunts. Wow! Yeah. Who have been making this since the days they were living in Kabul, okay? Wow. wow. And that's what you call Watani Bachim. We are here with the organizer of today's event, so I have John, and we're with my friend Jordan, who has never came to an Afghan Nauru's event. He's wearing the Karakul hat. <laughs> cool, right? <laughs> yes. I, I love it. That. Look at that. Oh, he, looks, he looks good at it. Yeah, he looks good at it. <laughs> and we want you to explain to him kind of what inspired you to do this event. Right. I do these events for the past 20 years. Yeah. Well, this is our New Year festival. Now Rose. Now is the New Year festival, yeah. And this is uh, my passion. I do this for the community. Amazing. For the past 20 years, yeah. That's I amazing. enjoyed it. I love seeing the people. Actually, our Now Rose fast was in March. Okay. But we couldn't sell it because of we the fast in Ramadan. Ah, I see. Now Rose Mabura. Yeah, thank you. Thank I, yeah, I came in here and I'm just taking in all the culture. I had a uh, Bolani, Mantu, Ashak, oh my God, Shabzi. You know we had all of it. Hey. Paul is gonna come, he's performing. They just had a song by Ahmed Zaire, one of the greatest. Look at it was amazing. And I'm wearing the Karakul from the Dawood Khan era. I think the amazing thing is that all these Afghans, they come in all shapes and sizes, and you are here to bring them all together, and we can experience this, this amazing event. It's a great time. I want to say thank you so much, Tasha Kaur, for putting 
getting it together. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you coming. Of course, of course. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Jordan is an Afghan. It is what it is. Jordan is an Afghan. So for the next item, we have Osh and we have Mantu. These are two of my personal favorite dishes, and I can't wait for you guys to try them out. The best way to describe Osh is traditional Afghan soup, but it's similar to ramen. So Osh is composed of noodles. You got a little bit of sour cream or yogurt, depending on who makes it, and you have a little bit of mint on top. So this is what you would eat when you're like sick at home back in the day. This is exactly oh, yeah. what you would eat when you're sick. It's similar to like pho, ramen. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look that amazing, <laughs> but you can't judge a book by its cover. So far it looks like in between a ramen, a chicken noodle soup, and a bean soup. Oh yeah, it's a mixture of everything, all right? Cheers. Cheers. It's kind of like what Jay said. That's actually really good. The noodles are super, super soft. It is really like a chicken noodle soup. Yes. But it has those Middle Eastern spices and flavors embedded within it. I agree. An Afghan chicken noodle soup. It tastes like a warm Afghan Watani hug. That's the best <laughs> way I could put it. But what I'm really interested in is Kamal's holding something over here. This is mantu. This is a very popular Afghan dish. Wow. Okay. So it's a beef dumpling. There's a little yogurt tzatziki on top right. with some mixed vegetables. The interesting thing about this is that their dumplings, they're really close to Asia. Yes. And that's why you have Asian dumplings, but also Afghan dumplings. That is actually a good point. The history about this is back in the day during the Silk Road trade route, they would trade with Asians. So they would wow. get influenced by their food, their culture, and things wow. of that nature. So a fun fact about Mantu, it's very known in that whole region. If you go to Kazakhstan, they don't call it Mantu. They call oh. it Mantu. I'm excited to try this out. You guys want to dig into? I'm down. Here, here we go. Here we go. Come on. You get one. Let me know how that goes down. Let me see. That's good mantu for you right there. Wow. It is different. Romel was saying you have those heavier Middle Eastern spices embedded within the mantu. And it's different from Asian dumplings. They're more soupy. They're light. Exactly. But this, they still have the same exact wrapper. I'm sure they're cooked steamed the same way. Uh -huh. But it does have that Middle Eastern vibe and it's delicious. Wow. Jordan, what's my go-to? Phenomenal. Listen in Farsi, we say mazadad. Mazadad. They love Jordan's Afghan karakol hat yeah. so much that they're gonna interview him about it right now. Look at this. And we're trying Afghan food and all that for the first time. Okay, as you guys can see, Jordan has adapted to our culture pretty quick. He is already talking to Afghans and he's gonna leave us pretty soon here. First and foremost, I just want to say Zandabad, Afghanistan. Why did you do it? Why did so I joined today's meal uh, just to get a, a, a good feel of the culture. My best friends are actually Afghans, born and raised in San Diego. Parents are from Kabul, so I just wanted to overall take in the culture. <laughs> That was wow, amazing. That was that amazing. Was amazing. Oh. As you guys can see, Jordan held his own. He had a full interview. Uh, it was good. It was a little nerve-wracking. I wasn't sure what she was saying, but she she asked me a couple questions in English. So overall, I felt pretty good about it. That was amazing. That was <laughs> Amazing. We've been walking around for like the last 45 minutes and I see so many nice clothes. Yes. Can you hook me up with something nice? Yeah, so we already gave Jordan the traditional kind of cool hat to start. Oh yeah. So we gotta get you something a little different. Maybe a t-shirt, maybe some shoes, maybe some pants. What are you thinking, Roma? So when you come to the Naros Festival, you wanna yeah. be the center of attention. Oh, that's oh, right. So when people come here, they usually look for a wife, they're looking for attention, they're looking to be the star of the community. <laughs> Oh, yeah. for a while. <laughs> All right. So there's many reasons people come to the Naros Festival. Okay. So right. so Ramel has a point. You want to stand out. So we got to get you something that makes you stand out. So when people see you, like, oh, he came here to steal the show. Okay. I'm ready. I'm well, ready. Well, what I'm are you excited. thinking, Ramel? Hey, let's go with the traditional vest. Oh. If we go with the traditional vest, there's usually jewels, sometimes gold stuff that pops out. There is a store right behind us that has vests, all kinds of clothing. Let's go ahead and pick out something for 
for Justin and have him look in Watani. <laughs> Watani. You see these? You don't wear these every day. You I only wear, wear them at special events. Look at the design. These are hearts. Yes. There's a lot of details in these vests. You only wear them to like eat celebrations, now rose, uh, which we're in. And also you'll wear them like at big family parties. And this is super, super traditional. So Justin, take a look at these and see what color you like, bro. Oh, that's nice. Wow. The gold trimmings? I definitely want something with black and gold. Wow. That one is actually really nice. Should I try it on? Try it on, yeah, yeah. This yeah. one too. Woo! Hey. They both look like they stand out. This is what you call a show stopper. Which one do you want to try on? Let's try on this one. Okay. Be careful though. Once you try this on and you walk around with it, you might find yourself a wife. Oh, wow. Bachim now. Bachim. This is a Bachim now, bachim. okay? Mubarak. 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 Wait, does it actually fit? It's supposed to be fitted like this? Yeah, it's it supposed looks, to be fitted. It looks really, really good. You look like a traditional Afghan. You look more Afghan than me right now, all right? We are right by the stage, and there's actually a VIP red carpet area. Well, I think we should all take a picture. Justin finally put on his traditional Afghan vest. Let's have a group picture. Oh, bit him, bit him, bit him, bit him, bit him. You know what we say? One, two, three, we say cheese, right? Right? Yes. Cheese in our language is paneer. Okay? Uh, paneer. Paneer. Okay? Okay. Three, two, one, paneer. paneer. Uh, Alright, all right. ready? 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 One more time. Yag do say paneer. So playing behind us is one of my favorite Afghan songs of all time, Laili John, by the great Ahmad Zahir. So we use basic instruments. We use a tabla, we use the keyboard, we use the robob. Our culture is very, very big and rich on music. And clearly, as you can see, a lot of people came here for the live music. Like I said, they've been singing a lot of songs by the one and only the great Ahmad Zahir, which is 99% of Afghan's favorite singers. What's your favorite Ahmad Zahir song? I would say Laili John is probably one of my top favorite songs. Songs. If you guys don't know, I'm a Zaya, like the Elvis Presley of the world. So, so how did you guys enjoy your guys' experience today? For me, I absolutely loved it. I loved the food, the culture, the people, the music. Everything about it was good, man. Me as well. I just want to say maybe in a past life, I might have been Afghan. <laughs> I felt at home in there. We had some amazing food. We heard some amazing music. We bought some amazing clothes. And overall, it was a great cultural experience. I think Afghans and Filipinos actually have a lot of in common as far as family and the importance of values in their lives and I felt a lot of that I felt at home and I felt very welcomed at the Nile Rose Festival. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell notification to be part of Notification Squad. Make sure you guys follow us on all our socials. We are the Fuzzins and we're out. Peace! It is Afghan New Year. Afghan... Let me say that one more time. What's going on everyone? They know a lot about the culture, but today they're gonna get it to but to But today they're gonna experience but you know you're holding the culture down and you, you know you oh, that's it. But you're holding the culture down. But what do we use? We use a lot of violin, some flutes, very basic but very, very well what used. Use, do we know? Oh, we don't know, it's not. And I can't wait for you guys to try them out. Wow. So with Osh, it's gonna be a like, the best way to describe Osh, so Osh is gonna be a, so Osh is composed. Osh is a like, the best way to, the best way to describe Osh is